Now we're going to create a product detail page for our book site. Let's just close the, the menu panel from the last video. Uh, for this, we need to create a new state uh, in our content panel. Uh, we'll name this state book detail. Double click it to open the book detail state. OK, to prepare you for what we're about to do, we could create a new state or page for every product we have in our listings and set up links from the listings to set the content panel state. But that would involve a lot of duplication. Instead, we are going to have only one panel state and we are going to set some actions in the repeater to populate the widgets in the detail state dynamically when the user selects the product from the repeater. So now we're going to set up some placeholder widgets that will be updated with content dynamically when the user interacts with our repeater. I'm adding some placeholder content to this heading. And don't forget to name them uh, because we will be creating some interaction cases for them shortly and we need to reference these widgets. I would of course recommend creating custom widgets like this in your custom widget library to encourage consistency and reuse in your work. But for the demo we're go just going to go ahead and create them in the project file. Uh, so we're naming a uh, doing an author name widget here and we're adding a name and let's add an image sized appropriately add a name for this widget we need to refer to these later when writing the cases. Remember, naming widgets logically is key to staying sane. Here's our description paragraph, all fairly standard features of an e-commerce site. Just remove some of this excess copy. Add a price label. And a price. And we need to add an add to basket button now. Now, now we need to adapt each of these for each view. I'm just quickly adapting the design. In the real world you may want to change font sizes and do much more um, and you know how to do this but here I want to get us onto creating the interaction cases to populate the content from the repeater. And finally, the large view. OK. Our book detail design is roughly adapted. 
Next, we'll create the interaction cases which will populate these widgets, depending on what book you click from the product listings. That's coming up in the next video.